There's really no like jump scares in our film. It's mainly psychological and just kind of kind of chips away at you rather than it being moments of like, ah, ah, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like there aren't really a lot. There's moments of like, oh, get out, go, 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 go. Stewart and I play Max. You first meet Max. Uh, he's been dealing with a lot of trauma. He needs a break. He needs just, he's been living in this world of just like every day, just hardship, you know, grinding it out and trying to keep everything afloat for his mom. And he needs a break. He goes on a date, like a random little date that uh, ends up becoming a uh, a horror fest. <laughs> it goes downhill very fast. When I initially got the script, it was, you know, one take, a horror film, um, a date gone, you know, really wrong, and two people with trauma meeting and trauma bonding and how that could either be great or horrible and, you know, which is the movie. But then I kind of just got the sense that there was this nightmarish element to it and that once they are in the house, anything is kind of allowed. And so within those freedoms, we were exploring trauma and his character and what it means and how that would be in real life, kind of projected from the mind to reality. And so exploring that gave us a lot of freedom to just create uh, just so many weird little scenarios that uh, kind of embodied physically what someone might be feeling internally. Rob had written a film that to me, there were so many creative freedoms that we were allowed to do. And he and I would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trading ideas, adding, he was really pumping it up. I had never had this much input on a script before. This was the first time. The fact that we we're going to make this movie as a one take film, uh, like a continuously shot film. Rob had to do a lot of techniques on just running the script up and down, Italian styles, just throwing out the lines, you know, giving us different ways we might approach a certain scene, just really exploring every avenue. So it was like by the end of the rehearsal, we were like filled with all of the words and all of the different feelings where you could go. The movie takes place during golden hour. The first day was extremely intimidating. Knowing that your first take was gonna start here and go there and then all the way down the street. And then by the end of that, you have a monologue and you have to be at this exact location for the next shot to work. I was always like on edge, like having a great time, but on edge and feeling just so in it and just, go mode, go mode, go mode, like make it happen. I feel like like Rock Creep as a character, when he touches you, he rots you from the inside out. Even after the deed is done of whatever had happened, it sits with you and it sits inside of you, slowly rotting you, you know, from the inside out. And so I think just on that level of drama, like in the physical manifestation of literally someone touching you and riding you from the inside out and how it, even if that person isn't around anymore, how it still um, can be so detrimental to your life. And I feel like that's like those who walk away. It's like, do you say something? Do you keep it in? Do you like turn back? Do you help somebody else? Cause you know, it's happening. Like what do you do and what don't you do and how that kind of uh, gets projected. Making this movie is one of my favorites ever. I'm so excited for people to see it, like genuinely excited. There's so many layers to our film. The ending is so open. There's so many different things that will make you think for the rest of the day and hopefully days later. We were like, what if the camera actually followed me into the house and stayed on me and the audience and I scared her together rather than the camera going in the house, being on her, and then me going, boo, you know? And then everyone be like, oh!